Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel and this is going to be general tarot reading for uh, general weekly tarot reading for Capricorn uh, Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising uh, March 18th to March 24th uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again, I want to remind you guys that this is going to be a, um, yeah, a general tarot reading. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different, oops, in a different way and uh, in a different level with every single different uh, Capricorn. So if you want a uh, more personal touch on your situation, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, uh, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find on the very front page of it a full list of my services as well as their pricings starting from just as little as uh, $12 for a reason being that I have decided to keep the reduced prices for the month of March uh, as well. So that being said, going to the Capricorn reading, the first card, which is marking the topic of your Capricorn week, that is going to be the um, judgment card, followed by the second one, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the five of pentacles, followed by the third one, which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the moon card. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, my God, that is going to be the, um, the lovers. So we do have judgment, then it is the five of uh, pentacles, the moon card, and then the last one that is going to be the lovers card. So uh, I could stretch the reading as much as I want, you know, uh, but... In reality, this reading is telling only one thing, is that everything is going to sort itself on its own accord throughout this week. Finding yourself in a difficult situation, being torn inwardly and so on and so forth, it all going to make sense this week. Why and how you should approach the situation? Because at the end, uh, the universe is going to present you with a decision to make and at that point, um, as with the lowers card, there won't be any right or wrong decision that you gotta uh, that you have to lean to. It will be all based on personal preference, but definitely both of those choices are going to be very, very harmonious with you. So let's indulge with the cards in a more deeper level. The judgment, which is the topic of your week, it does represent everything falling in place, meaning all the pieces of the puzzle are getting tied together. And at that point, uh, this is going to be like a wake-up call, like a call from the universe, uh, from the universe, you know, to um, basically take your part in those endeavors, those undertakings, relationships, or projects uh, at work. The judgment, it is like um, not having an option available, guys, until this very moment and at the start of this week, that option available which suits you the most gets presented to you. That is the wake-up call out of nowhere from mysterious, very um, fortunate circumstances happening. The wake-up call is given and everybody who hears it has to answer. So uh, with the judgment, it will be best if you can read the signs of the universe you know, one way or another. So whenever, uh, wherever the circumstances are dragging you toward, that is the direction you should take. But uh, the very least, this card points that you are on the verge of a, a big culmination in your life, which is gonna end up you being liberated from a, a very poignant and stressful as well as well circumstances or a, a situation. The accompanied card of the judgment, this is going to be the tree of uh, the tree of cups and the formation here is active, uh, active enemies. <clears throat> so what happens is that uh, this call is going to be addressed to you and you only. So it's going to be something specifically 
for you for you to take therefore in this particular sense and that could be said even from the five of pentacles no one can tell you the the, the right decision that you gotta make or the right approach you gotta take as well regarding your situation um, but just to give you a quick example here let's say that you are jobless and uh, you're struggling financially well this is a, a week where you are to find an option available to start a job no one can help you with that though. I mean, no one can take the job for you or no one can uh, can help you to uh, impress into that job. But in the same time, should you push forward with your own personal uh, efforts and criteria as well, uh, that is going to be a definitely a, a place where you're going to fit very, very well. Another example of that is, let's say that you want to uh, get separated with your wife or with your husband, for example. You don't know how to do it. You are stuck in this situation in your marriage that there is no way out. And suddenly in this week, the circumstances present themselves to you and you get a choice to make. Should you make it or should you break it? It all comes to that with the judgment card at the end. You have a choice to make and that is also confirmed with the lover's card. And you have to decide, should you make it or should you break it? Once again, entirely depends on your personal preference. If it's something that you don't want and you want and you searching a way to get rid of, well, then you break it. You know, if, if it is something that you do want and you're searching a way to, um, <clears throat> to capitalize on it, well, then you make it. But the uh, second card that we do have for you, Capricorns, that is to be the five of pentacles, which is the negative approach toward the situation. And here the five of pentacles manifest itself, you searching for a help or the very least searching for an advice, how to approach the situation itself. Uh, in this particular example here, uh, trying to find a person in a similar situation, you know, to kind of like... Um, obtain experience from them unfortunately like said with the judgment uh, your situation is unique and no one really can give you that recipe for success the recipe is already there the conditions of the recipe is already there and you just have to make your concoction from it so five of pentacles here as well asks you to uh, be determined to go through that thing through a very end because the five of pentacles points that there are going to be problems appearing here and there, you know, on, on many fronts for that matter. Uh, the very final obstacles uh, which are deliberately placed there either from the universe or from someone else in... Um, in hope or rather like the the whole reason for that is you to bear on it or to give up from your from the chase of your happiness meaning you know that if you are about to uh, have a divorce for example uh, your partner could start making some problems which are small problems trifles you know and that should not be something to scare you off or if you're trying to connect with someone, you know, there could be a third party that is making problems for in between you two. That should not scare, scare you off either. Like I said, the situation is very, very unique that you're finding yourself at. And it is the only thing that others or the universe can make scare you. Okay. If you are determined enough to penetrate through, to persevere, there is nothing really can, that can stop you. And I don't think that the universe itself is going to block you off. That most likely is going to come from other people. <clears throat> it's because the universe itself is giving you those uh, circumstances you require in order to fit everything together, to piece everything together, either career-wise or relationship-wise. So the accompanied card here, the catalyst, that is to be the Eight of Swords and the formation is Passive Enemies. And the Eight of Swords here only points that should you be stubborn enough, enough, you know, and should you be narrowed enough, then you quickly are going to be able to overcome the prime uh, subject of the Five of Pentacles, the multiple difficulties on many fronts. Additionally to that, the Eight of uh, Swords here asks you to have, uh, apart from the strong determination, guys, as well, as well very clean, keen, excuse me, and determined mindset that uh, eventually the results are going to justify the means, if that makes sense. 
And uh, as well, uh, the final thing that the Eight of Swords it is asking you is to recognize the truth, whatever that means for you. Because in this situation, if the truth is something that can make you free, then what the denial of the truth makes you? Answer yourself that question. The, the next card that we do have for you, that is going to be how you should approach the situation. And we do have the moon card. So the moon card here puts the shade where you don't have to do much, but you know, in a sense of, like I said, everything is going to fall on its own accord. And uh, what you got to do is just wait patiently and with clamorous belief because as the things are shaping around and pieces of the puzzles are falling together. You may feel hectic and very um, tendering about, you know, how those things are going to arrange, you know, how these situations are going to arrange. And you may fall short into clamor of that things are going to be in a perfect condition, which is going to happen should you have the patience to do it. But again, you have to, you need to have the determination to act as soon as everything is cooked well and concocted in, in, in the right way. <clears throat> so the moon card points that even if you are feeling insecure and the situation is very vague around you at that very moment, that should not be a prerequisite for you to drop your clamorous belief that eventually things are going to resolve on their own accord. If you are waiting for a confirmation, it is likely that this confirmation is going to come around even if you are to hear for it uh, at the very last moment, you know, and so on and so forth. The uh, manifestation could be literally relating into everything. But the moon card, the most biggest virtue that it does have into a positive position, it points to that you should not deviate from the path that you've chosen. That you have chosen. You like that person, that is the person for you. You want that job, that is your job. You want to separate, that is your path. You know, so whatever aim you do have at the start of the week, even if it, it looks unachievable, the universe itself is going to help you to do so. It is just what is needed from you is not to change your mind and as well, you know, not to bear on it, not to drop off short into clamor and believe that things are yet to improve. The additional card that we do have with the moon that is going to be the chariot. <clears throat> Another confirmation here is, is that this is a unique situation because the chariot is all about singularity. It is all about personal impression, personal um, manifestation as well, and wish fulfillment. Okay, so these couple of cards as a formation of passive supporters says that if you are patient enough and clamorous enough to believe that the best is yet to come, it is definitely you are to, to reach a, a point where a, is going to be a point of wish fulfillment as well. And if we're talking about career endeavors in general, these cards are pointing that eventually you're going to get the luck of the hard work as well. And you, at the end, uh, the chariot is a sign that you are going to persevere, triumph, and you're going to be very, very proud of your achievements, even if your achievements right now are not recognized by others. It depending, depends on what kind of a situation you are finding yourself at. But yeah, it is even against all odds, you got to believe throughout the week or, you know, wait for throughout the week that the right means and circumstances is going to happen, which are going to traverse the odds in your favor. Because according to these cards, this is what's going to happen. However, that happening does not mean that everything is sealed, okay, and everything is sorted out. When the circumstances strive us and turn into your favor, then it is where you have to make your choice and act upon it. Sitting on your butt at home, doing nothing about it, is just going to allow you to miss that opportunity to basically resolve your issue or whatever. So <clears throat> even if it sorts itself on its own accord, a little bit of a push is needed, or at least you acknowledging and recognizing it, okay, is going to be needed for you to, uh, to capitalize on this resolution. And finally, uh, the, the card here that we do have the final outcome of growth is going to be the lovers. 
and the lovers is associated with this choice that I, that I uh, told you about, the uh, choice that has no right or wrong decision that to be made, but in the same time, whatever decision you do is going to be a decision where you are going to find yourself harmonious about. Also, the lover's points are not just harmonious about a certain decision, but as well with the whole entirety of the situation. Basically, with the lovers here as this follow-up, it means that the situation will develop exactly as you wanted it to develop in, uh, in many ways. But uh, <clears throat> also, it's a sign that many of your issues are going to resolve on their own accord, but not the prime one, okay? So you will have the means to resolve the prime one, which means until this very moment were an issue of yours. Let's say you didn't have money, you didn't have place where to stay. Uh, in case that is you want to uh, leave your wife, you didn't have money, you didn't have place where to stay, you didn't have support, you didn't have lawyer. Well, you're going to have all these things and all that it is needed from you is to make the decisive action and decision here. Am I going to make it or am I going to break it? Okay, so at the end, you know, even if you are going to be carried to the uh, finish line, you have to make the step to cross it. The accompanied card of the lovers, that is going to be the uh, seven of pentacles. The formation is active enemies. And definitely at that point, at the end of the week, there won't be any doubt that you are on the right track with, with whatever endeavor these cards are relating to, either career, marriage, you know, project, endeavor, and so on and so forth. Uh, the seven of uh, pentacles here points as well that there won't be any better uh, conditions that you can push your things through regarding marriage or regarding career and there is nothing more that you have to talk, uh, that you have to think about you're very you have placed a, a very accurate uh, anal uh, analysis of what you're going to invest in it and what you're going to get out of it okay and that is a, another confirmation that in an acute readiness to act at the end of the week is required from you Capricorns to basically further your goal, depends on what your goal is. So the only thing that I can see this week obstructing you of um, proceeding forward harmonious with your future guys is your indecisiveness. If you are indecisive, then you're gonna miss this um, uh, how can I place it? Uh, you're going to miss this arrangement of uh, circumstances and I don't know if you're gonna have the same kind of beautiful arrangement for that particular uh, situation. So uh, I suggest you to make up your mind what you want because you will have the conditions to achieve it. Should you take on them? Well, that depends entirely on you. So uh, that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 18th to March um, 24th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, as a general reading of a Capricorn star sign is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level as well with every single different Capricorns. If you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video, well, that is a subject of a private reading and from uh, and for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very front page, you are going to find a full list of my services, as well as their pricing, which are starting from just as little as $12 because I decided to keep the promotion of all the prices uh, for the month of March as well. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.